I'm Yoga Bunny. Well, this is my very first voice podcast where I just talk in my voice. This is how I talk. Um, and I thought I would just keep it kind of simple and read my story. Yoga Bunny. All right, I got a copy of the book right here. Okay. Yoga Bunny by Brian Russo. One morning, I crawled out of my hole, rubbed my eyes, and let out a big... This is a perfect morning to do yoga, I said. I dropped my head and arms down towards my feet, coming into a forward fold. Hey, do you want to do forward fold? Let's do it together. Ah, that feels nice. Oh, I can sway back and forth. Wow. Just then, Lizard came walking by. Good morning, Lizard, I said. Would you like to do some yoga with me? I hate everything about mornings. I wish I could go back to bed, Lizard replied angrily. And with that, he stomped away. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I was disappointed, but I took a deep breath, placed my hands on the ground, stepped backwards, and lifted my hips high in the air, coming into Downward Dog. Do you want to do that with me? All right, let's try it. Yay! That's right. My friend Fox came hurrying by. Zoom, zoom, zoom! He was going so fast, he startled me. Out of my way, Bunny, he said. I'm in a very big rush. Well, maybe you can take a minute and do this yoga pose with me. I suggested it might help you to slow down. No, thanks, Fox replied. I'd rather be in a big rush than do something so silly. And he hurried away. I felt a little bit sad. But I took a deep breath, stood up tall, placed my hands in front of my heart, and balanced on one foot, coming into tree pose. Should we do this one? Just then, bird flew down, landing right on my head. I have a very bad case of the and I've tried everything to stop them, said bird. Well, I said, maybe you can do this tree pose with me. It can calm you down and that might help with your hiccup. No way, bird said. I'd rather live with these hiccups than stand on one leg. And with that, Bird flew away. Will anyone ever want to do yoga with me? I wondered aloud. But then I reminded myself that doing yoga alone is better than not doing yoga at all. Just as I took a deep breath, stepped back, bent my front leg, and reached my arms way up coming into warrior pose. Hey, do you want to take a minute and do this pose with me? see what's gonna happen. The two little mice came walking by. What do you think he's reaching for? Whispered one of the mice. I don't know, but it must be very valuable. Well, we better reach for it too. And so the mice stepped back, bent their front legs, and reached their arms way up, coming into warrior pose, just like me. As they had their arms stretched way up and their eyes towards the sky, they noticed Bird flying by. Bird still had the hiccups, but he came down to join us, pressing his wings together in front of his heart, lifting up one leg, coming into tree pose, just like me and the mice. All of a sudden, we heard a loud noise. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Fox came hurrying by and saw us all standing in a circle, and he pressed his hands to the ground, stepped back, and lifted his hips, coming into Downward Dog, 
just like me, the mice, and the bird. I took a deep breath and lay down flat on my back, coming into resting pose. When Lizard came walking back and lay down just like me, I was so happy my friends had joined me that I opened my mouth and let out a big, um. And everyone else did the same. I know where I'm supposed to be, said Fox. Not so angry anymore. It's here. Thank you, Yoga Bunny. Oh, and here's us all doing Warrior Two on the back. Wow. <gasps> hey, see that little squirrel behind the tree? Do you think he's going to do yoga with us? Thanks for listening to my story. You know, this is the first time I've ever talked. I wonder what it's going to sound like when I play it back. Do you think it's going to sound funny? Well, there's only one way to tell, to listen to it. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>